Hey there guys, Neil here, back with a feature review for an app. In this case, it's going to be Android only, as it is only available on the Android side of things right now. Um, if you listen to the podcast, then I'll um, make that update available then. But if you're on the Android side of things and you want to listen to podcasts via Google Play Music, this is what you'll do. So, um, assuming you're on the latest version of um, Google Play Music, then this should this should automatically show up for you you'll see a podcast section but um if you're not there may be a manual way to do that so if you're on this particular version number right here then you should be able to get it if you're on the Im version immediately prior to it then you may be able to get it but the easiest way to try is going into settings and then at the top of the screen under account you'll see a refresh button so when you touch that um, it'll hit do its own little ref internal refresh and whatever it needs to do. So now when you go into your menu, you'll see the podcast section show up and you're good to go. Um, if you've already started subscribing to podcasts on the Google Play Music website, so play.google.com slash music and then hitting podcasts in the, uh, from the menu, um, they'll automatically sync over to the Google Play Music um, app. If you haven't, then that's a quite all right. You can start from the app itself as well. So when you go into the podcast section, you'll um, automatically be started with um, the, generally you'll already be started with the top charts uh, segment, so popular shows right now. Um, you'll see that all of these shows currently are kind of grayed um, out a little bit, and that is because I have it set to uh, sync and subscribe and uh, refresh and all of that good stuff on Wi-Fi only. I don't want it to um, sync and do, I don't want it to do any of that stuff in the background on my mobile data. I'm on a limited plan, so um, I let it, I have it syncing only in the background on Wi-Fi. Um, so from here, that's pretty straightforward. If you want to see popular shows, then you can scroll through. You'll see some shows that you may have heard of. So WTF with Mark Maron, Stuff You Should Know, um, Hardcore History, shows like that. Um, it also already has category set up. So if you want to see, look at various categories. So if you want to look at uh, music, then you can do that and see what's available from in music. Um, if you prefer TV and film, then you can do that as well. So you'll see it show up and you can get whatever is in um, that category. So relatively straightforward, nothing too difficult there. Um, search is, very, as you imagine, you can search for podcasts. So let's say I wanna see if Coverville is um, in Google Play Music, um, and it actually is, so you can click on it and um, you get there a listing of it, their episodes. Hitting the I button will give you a su the summary of what that episode is or what that episode is about. So anything that maybe so have maybe have submit been submitted to um, via either the post or the iTunes library. I'm not sure exactly how it's pulled at the moment, but I think it's whatever it is whatever summary you see in iTunes is going to most likely be the same thing you see here. Um, that's pretty much the straight the gist of it i mean if there's if there's a podcast you listen to you can search for it not all podcasts have shown up in google play music because it does require submitting the podcast itself manually so um if it hasn't been submitted yet you can always find talk to the podcast host find out if they are going to submit it or what the status is or uh, find out how they submit it maybe they did it under a slightly different name maybe an acronym something like that so that's pretty much all there is for that re to really talk about how to get to podcasts. Uh, when you get to click on the your podcast tab on in the app, um, you'll see the podcasts are updated by uh, which ones were updated most recently. So you'll see that for me, Cord Killers was mo the most recent podcast episode, The Talking Dead Next, and so on and so forth. So if you want to see if you have new episodes, then you'll get, basically go into that. Um, episode you'll know that it's the most recent one and you'll see the episode any available episodes that might have been that are available to listen mm -hmm. uh, when they're grayed out on this on the, your podcast um, screen that means that there's nothing new and you've listened to everything that's been downloaded so you know that there's nothing new to listen to and then if you want to listen to more you can always go back and listen to prior episodes and download it 
um, downloading is the same as you see on the Google Play Music for the albums and tracks and things like that. Touching that down arrow will download it. It'll show up in dark bold so you know you can listen to it and you can start playing right away. Um, that's really all there is for that. So as far as subscribing to podcasts, so let's say um, you found How It Stacks on um, the Geek IO website. So I'll do a search for How It Stacks. And I see that, hey, look, there it is. It's already part of Google Play Music. So now when you hit the subscribe button or you hit the overflow, or if you have not subscribed to it yet, the subscribe button will be the same. If you subscribe to it on the web and you want to adjust it, I'll get it to that in a second. But there's a, it kind of shortcuts the menu a little bit or changes the menu there. But you still get to the same options here. So let's say I want to subscribe to How It Stacks. Um, you can hit subscribe and you'll automatically get it so that you can um, you have the podcast show up in your directory and the easiest way to get notified of new episodes is to hit the notifications button so you know that let's say you have the auto download turned off because for whatever reason you do not want it to download the latest three episodes um, then you can just have it notify you and download it manually um, now let's say um, I wanted to automatically download those th latest three episodes because I'm going to be out and about and I don't want to have to remember to do it later. You can check that box. And then you can set the playback order, either newest to oldest or oldest to newest. I have the newest set first because I obviously wanted to listen to the latest and greatest. And then you hit subscribe and that's it. Your button will change from subscribe to subscribed. And then when you hit on the overflow menu now, um, you can manage your subscription. So if you do, let's say you still want to listen to a podcast, but you don't want it to auto download because for whatever reason you're, let's say you're out on a trip and you don't want it to auto download or um, you want to listen, but not necessarily have it, or let's say you're running low on storage space, you don't want it to download and you find that episodes are, are the episode files are generally large and you can turn it off. And then you can also easily unsubscribe here as well. Um, now, let's say I was on Wi-Fi. Then when you go into hit the eye screen, you'll notice or you'll have the down arrow change or the down arrow will automatically animate to show that it's downloading. So for me, I usually just want the um, latest and greatest episodes. Um, so here you see it says no Wi-Fi connection because I have it set to download only on Wi-Fi. So I'll hit OK. But for me, I just want the last episode, and currently Google Play Music does not support uh, changing the number of episodes you can automatically download when subscribing. So basically, I just hit the checkboxes and I unselect them. So now they will not download when I get into Wi-Fi or hit or when I ha have a Wi-Fi connection. Um, but when I go, let's say I do want to listen to the show, or let's say I realize that I want to listen to the their how a stacks um coverage of mash season one then i can when i hit get to wi-fi i can hit download it'll download automatically or in this case i can hit okay and now when there is wi-fi it'll automatically download and the episode or the a logo for the for how it stacks will darken a little bit now let's say you come across a, a podcast that you want to share uh, be it via social media like Facebook or Twitter or via email, SMS, WhatsApp, whatever, there's a nifty share button. So when you hit share, you can, um, I don't know why I'd add it to Instapaper, but whatever you, the apps you have installed on your device, you can share to um, anything that has a shareable option. So let's say I wanted to share it to uh, Google+, Plus, then I could just hit the Google+, Plus button, and it'll start a new post. And then when you scroll down, um, I'll change that to public. I don't want to share it to that community, but it'll pull the information as much as it can, and you'll you can put type in whatever you want to say. And I'll discard that post. Now, let's say you were listening to, let's say I was listening to Mash Season One or the coverage of Mash Season One, and I want to share that episode. I can hit the share button. Same thing. Let's say I'll go to Google Plus and um it'll pull the logo the ep the podcast logo the track information i'll switch it over to public and say check out this great episode or not checky i don't know what that is but check out this great episode 
and I can share it and it's good to go and that works on any episode so let's say I go back to um, my podcast and I'm listening to uh, Game of Owns and I want to share their review of the Red Woman same thing I'll go to um, let's see I'll just use Google Plus as the best example and same thing the Red Woman from Game the Red Woman review uh, by Game of Owns so same thing there and you're good to go so that's really all there is for, or actually now that's all there is for the Google Play Music podcast feature so uh, definitely a good start I kind of like the grayed out um, portion of it, it um, kind of consolidates it and makes it an easier visual cue when you have an episode to listen to versus ones you don't so if you're out and about and you have it set to sync only on wi-fi then for example i was listening to the talking dead um and i had i think the morning stream or one of those um episodes so now when i scroll through i I know that for example how a stacks was probably the most recently updated one or it well, actually it was because April twenty sixth was their episode. So April, so how Stacks was the most recently updated um, podcast. But maybe I finished listening to it and now I want to see what else is there. And I know that because let's say the Talking Dead's logo is dark or fully colored, that I know that there's a, still an episode there and I can listen to it there. Um, something I figured out or found out by happenstance was that. Um, Let's say you are out and about and you're like me where you have the sync settings only sent, set to... St- so I have stream only on Wi-Fi, download only on Wi-Fi, auto download my music as off. Now, if you're out and about and you're, you don't have a Wi-Fi connection, um, the episode will still show as dark until you go to Wi-Fi and sync. So um it'll that's still a little bit of cleanup there or um manual thing there or visually off there but once you hit wi-fi then or once you get connected to wi-fi the episode file will automatically be be deleted and then it'll gray out if it's the last episode so you know that okay it's been listened to already so um there's a bit of that um little bit of offset there but nothing that um actually hurts anything for me i don't mind that at all i know that if I finish listening to it, I'll, um, I can move on to the next episode and then on Wi-Fi it'll sync and delete and clean itself up in the background nicely. So um, it's, for me, I do definitely recommend checking it out. It's easy to use. I like the layout. If you're um, trying to get, help someone get into podcasting, Google Play Music itself is free. You just need a Google account. So if you're on Android, uh, boom, you don't have to worry about anything else. You just connect it. And it'll sync to the web. So if you, let's say you're now at home and your phone's on the side, you can go to Google Play Music on the web, open a podcast, and continue playing there as well. Um, the bit, a couple of things that I find that are missing for me. Um, one of the things I mentioned earlier was that you can it only auto downloads three episodes at a time. So I kind of want to see it change to a customizable number or maybe just a drop down menu like instead of three maybe I want one or two or five or something like that. For me personally it is I prefer to only have it set to one. I want the latest episode only to download not necessarily three at a time. So that's kind of a, a process for me when I was subscribing on my phone that I had to I subscribed and then I had to go have it um, stop auto downloading three files. but. Uh, maybe in an update in the future, they will add that kind of customizability. Um, the other thing is to, um, adding multiple playlists or multiple podcast episodes to a single playlist. So uh, one of the things I like for on the Pocket Cast side, for example, is that I can uh, create my own podcast order. So um, whether it's something I want to listen to today and then um, after that, I'll listen to something that was maybe updated yesterday or maybe earlier in the day and set my own order. I kind of want to see the ability to add to a play podcast playlist so I can um, automatically have it continue playing. Um, so there is that. Um, that is really the majority majority of it. Um, not too much else really to um, add or change or anything like that. Um, I kind of overall it is worth um, checking out and playing around with and. Um, using it, seeing if you like it or not. Uh, for me, there's only a few podcasts that haven't actually transitioned or haven't actually added their podcast to Google Play Music. So 
all I did was adjust some settings in Pocket Cast. So the Pocket podcasts that are not in Google Play Music yet, I have it set to download those automatically in Pocket Cast, and everything else doesn't download. So there is that backup, and everything on that side stays in sync as well. Um, so that's really all there is for that. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or anything like that, you can email me at headphonesneal at yahoo.com or find me on Twitter at PatelN01. But that is all for this particular review. Thanks for watching and listening, and until next time.